<laughs> it's a privilege to be here today, and I would like to extend my gratitude for the kind words and give my appreciation to be in your company. Today I'm delighted to hand over this 19-foot fiberglass boat and engine to the Taro Youth Club. The handover of this boat represents the continued commitment of the Fiji First Government to all Fijians, especially the youth and to the women and children. Today's handover highlights the mutual alignment of the goals and priorities of our government. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this is not a short-term program, nor is a program that has suddenly come up. We have sustained and grown this program and input innovations into the program to combat the current pandemic. The Ministry of Youth and Sports and our youth stakeholders have worked together to increase Fijian food security with this on the ground initiative. And I'm proud to say that this initiative over the past eight years has sustained many youth groups and their communities as part of a long-term plan of innovation, planning, and implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, today's handover is also part of a sustained program of youth development through the Boat and Youth Farm Grant Initiative. The Ministry of Youth and Sports has spread this program across Fiji. The boat grant program is part of the outreach to rural and maritime areas. It is a recognition of the central role of the sea and its marine culture in the lives of those Fijians who live in these areas. And the program through the grant of boats to the youth groups, as well as training and certification in maritime safety, aims to provide a safe and sustainable means for our youth in these areas to cultivate and harvest resources from our seas. Today, the youth of Taro will receive the boat and in addition, farm implements to add their land resources to the marine abundance around them. We know that the youth of Taro disembark out into the sea as their livelihood depend upon the sea and travel on it. We all want their experience to be positive, happy, and above all, safe. I would also like to thank Turangani Matangali for making available to the Taro Youth Club 10 acres of land. Can we all put our hands together and thank the they have already walked the land and planted a few root crops, vegetables, and fruits, as mentioned earlier on. To the Taro Youth Club, we have an additional handover of farming implements for you. And it is my hope that these materials will further assist you with your endeavors. And I know you will put these grants today to a good use. As in the past, the Ministry of Youth and Sports doors are open for further assistance and advice. To keep the program sustainable, it is important that the youth club maintain the boat and equipment and ensure its proper use. Do not treat this as a handout. The value of the boat and equipment lies in its use and it is continued uses so that you and your community can benefit from it for a sustained period. And the profits and the proceeds from it provides the funding for you to embark on self-help to enable you to grow your outreach and impact as the Taro Youth Club. 
And I can assure you one thing, that the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the government will be there to continue to this assistance to match your success in the coming years. Ladies and gentlemen, government through Ministry of Youth and Sport has provided a long-term priority plan to reduce unemployment, create opportunities for youths and Fijians to be successful in business, contribute to the reduction of poverty, and to promote economic growth. And I'm proud that we have been able to sustain it through the current pandemic. The challenge is not over yet. The current war in Ukraine and continued outbreaks of COVID-19 means we must continue to work together. And we must put faith in programs such as this initiative and the Fiji First Government for heavy and sustained investment in our youth sector. As they have done for our children through the investment in education and in sustained programs for women, this is all part of government's combined initiative to assist all Fijians to be self-reliant and sustainable and contributing to growing the economy and making a difference in our local community that we serve. I'm looking forward to seeing you, that you will reap the harvest and the bounties of this land and the seas that surround it. And we all look forward to seeing increased productive activity as this boat is put out to sea and the farm implements to the land. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I thank you for your presence. In closing, the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Fiji First Government looks forward to continuing our work in our youth sector to improve the well-being and security of all Fijians. Minaka and thank you.